Well, good morning, Jeff. Uh, clearly that matters because it shows that Angela Merkel is uh, getting weaker and weaker as the chancellor here in Germany because it was her clear recommendation to re-elect Volker Kauda. And what happened in the parliamentary group, it was a surprise vote for the other person, uh, Ralf Brinkhaus, who's not a revolution in itself. He's a conservative, very pro-business oriented, but he was not the choice of Angela Merkel. So the headlines of all the newspaper today are saying something like revolution inside the CDU, like Die Welt here, or we have like Kanzlerin Dämmerung, which uh, can be translated as the dawn of uh, uh, the chancellor, or also the end of an era. Perhaps that's all a bit overdone, but clearly it shows that Angela Merkel is getting, as I was saying, weaker and weaker internally. And clearly what happened in the German government currently that they are keeping on discussing things internally and not enacting any policy changes. That's the clear, uh, that, that does not go down very well with the electorate. And this clearly also shows her weakened position in that election. Yesterday at the German Industry Day of the uh, BDI, we uh, collected some voices for you how uh, business leaders think the government is doing currently. Currently. Take a listen. The situation is um, very unusual, that's right. But uh, my, um, my gut feeling is that they have realized that danger and uh, that they now have to make up their mind if it's, if it's better to stay in a grand coalition uh, or to go their own way. And this decision will be made within these weeks. The challenges for in the short term, but also in the, in the mid term and the long term can only be solved together if politicians and the uh, uh, responsible business leaders work together. And I think that dialogue is there. It's a positive and intensive dialogue and uh, that what makes me optimistic. I think it is important to look at the big picture and we must now really move into doing mode. That means we really need to address the big picture items. We need to stop talking about small items and infights. We really need to now move forward and making sure that we address the key issues that I just have mentioned to boost the German economy and also strengthen Germany in the context of having a very stable and uh, nicely developing European Union because Germany is one of the key drivers in terms of the European Union and that is what is desperately needed. And that's why I also hope that now the political scenery is also focusing on those topics. So why we thought that Germany was an exception for quite some time when it comes to the non-existence or not very you know, like big showing or strong showing of a populist party, that has changed now. If you look at the newest opinion polls, the AFD could come in actually second after the CDU overtaking the Social Democrats. So it's a real threat to the traditional parties and they haven't found a counter recipe. They haven't found a clear language how to convince people back into their camp. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.